We've all seen this picture. This is the first colored photo taken of Earth from the Apollo 8 mission. Have you ever wondered why the clouds form these shapes? First, we have to understand a few fundamental concepts of our Earth. Hot air is less dense than cold air. When cold air is near hot air, the molecules in the cool air search for more room, and the cold flows towards the hot. This pushes the lighter, hot air up, and it flows towards the cool side, where it sinks and starts to cycle all over again. On our Earth, the air in the poles is cold and dense, so the molecules high up in the atmosphere move towards the poles. They do not make it, however, because the Earth is spinning incredibly fast, deflecting these molecules into four primary jet streams. Jet streams are consistent path of strong wind on our Earth. The top and bottom are named the polar jet streams, and the middle two are named the subtropical jet streams. The atmosphere at a large scale acts like a fluid. So, what happens if we create a pressure difference in a fluid and spin it just like our Earth? Here, we have done just that. The cone shape in this bowl creates a pressure difference in the water because there's more water pushing down on one region. What we see is not just a straight path around the Earth. Instead, the fluid has curves and waves in it because the fluid aims to preserve total angular momentum of the system. In other words, we're spinning it one direction and it's trying to resist that. The waves in this fluid look exactly like the waves in our jet stream. This is a representation of what our actual jet stream looks like. They have large curves in them due to the spin of the Earth. Rosby waves are found in more than just our atmosphere. Many spinning fluids experience this pattern, particularly in planets. Here is a picture of Jupiter, where you can clearly see the Rosby waves in the planet's jet streams. This is a picture of the Sun, where you can also see Rosby waves in the surface. Notice how these pictures hold great similarity to the atmosphere of our own planet. So, as our Earth experiences rapid warming, I bet you might wonder, what happens if we make the poles much hotter than they were before? Though this is not fully understood yet, most Earth scientists believe that the jet stream slows down as there is far less of a temperature gradient, which drives the jet stream. Just like a lasso gets wavier when it slows down, most scientists think the jet stream actually does too. Rosby waves are often associated with extreme weather events like hurricane storms and tornadoes. This is a collection of satellite images taken from this October. The polar jet stream and the subtropical jet stream actually get so wavy that they joined for a few days, delivering over a foot of snow to Texas and New Mexico in early October, far before the usual snow occurrences. This is another example of why climate change is more than just our Earth getting hotter. Our atmosphere is extremely complex and extremely fragile, and just a small change in temperature can result in a huge change in our day-to-day -day lives.